There's a chance for history tonight at Bill Walker Pool in the Class 6A State Swimming and Diving Championships. Last season, the Johnson Jaguars posted their first ever podium finish, and now they're going for gold in the very first event of the night, the 200-yard medley relay. The Jaguars were the top seed coming in, and they light their home pool on fire. Jada Scott opens the race with a 25-1 in the backstroke leg. Rhea Sahota throws down a 29-2 in breaststroke. Samantha Robles drops a 25-1 for the butterfly leg, and Michaela Moore anchors in 23-3 to win it in 1 minute, 42.8 nine seconds, nearly a full second ahead of the rest of the field. And for the first time in program history, Johnson has won an event at state. We work really hard and we put all the sweat, blood and tears into the water. It was amazing, you know, last year we didn't have the chance to uh, be able to swim the medley relay last year at state. So we came back what we were supposed to do and we did that. That was just the beginning. Next individual event, 200-yard freestyle. Junior Elsa Musselman snuck into the A final as the eighth seed with a great prelim swim, and that was huge. In the evening session, she drops a few more hundredths off of her time and goes 152.31. Musselman might not have moved up, but she does earn 11 critical points for Johnson. That's six more points than had she swum in the consolation heat. Next up, 200-yard individual medley, sophomore sensation Jada Scott was the second seed coming in, and she hangs tough with the leader for the first 100. Eventually, she falls off the pace, but she clearly separates herself from the rest of the field, taking second overall in 2 minutes, 1.59 seconds. As a result, she breaks her own school record and becomes the first individual podium finisher at state for the Jags. There's a good race brewing in the splash and dash, 50-yard freestyle. Two area swimmers side-by-side side in this one. Johnson's Michaela Moore and Reagan's Morgan Bartley. Those two were in the A final last year, and they put on another good showing here. Bartley holds her prelim seed and takes fifth overall in 23.50 seconds. Moore is eighth in 23.69. Let's take a quick break from the swimming action and head on over to the diving competition held earlier in the afternoon. Reagan senior Alyssa Palacios was the highest finisher from the San Antonio area. She scored 412.25 points. That's three spots higher than she finished last season. Congratulations to her. Brandeis' Avery Francis took 10th. Back to the pool now. Another great race in the 100-yard butterfly. And again, two area swimmers right next to each other in lanes one and two. Johnson's Samantha Robles and Churchill freshman Carly Cronk. Robles gets a great start and hangs on down the stretch to finish 7th in 56.43 seconds. Kronk is right behind her in 8th in 56.49. The 3rd and 8th place finishers were separated by a little over 4 tenths of a second. Still, it's an impressive showing for Kronk in her first ever state meet. I feel like swimming in this pool was better because I'm more familiar with it. If I swim at UT, I might have been a little bit more scared. I was just happy to be here overall. It's my first day, just have fun. Same distance, different stroke. 100 yard freestyle and this race went down to the wire. Johnson's Jada Scott looking to get on the podium again, seated second going in, and she gives the top seed, Corey Shanks, all she can handle. Both of them are neck and neck as they head into the final wall and Scott just barely gets touched out, but she is ecstatic with the time. Look at the reaction. 49.71 seconds, she breaks her own school record. It's the first time she's broken the 50 second barrier in the 100 freestyle. And for the second time, Scott heads to the podium to pick up a silver medal. That was my first time going under 49 and I was so, so happy. I felt really confident this year actually. I wasn't as nervous as I thought I was gonna be, so that was, that was good. I just wanted to go best times and to make the podium. And I did accomplish both goals and I couldn't be happier. Let's pace ourselves now. 500-yard freestyle. Reagan's Kaylee Coffey was the only area qualifier in this event, swimming out of the consolation final. The junior takes it out hard and toughs out the back half to take 14th in 5 minutes, 3.27 seconds. Next up, the Jags have another chance at history in the 200-yard freestyle relay. This time, it's 53 finalist Michaela Moore leading off, followed by Lena Beach and Elsa Musselman. All three of them split 23-second 50s, and then fresh off her 100 freestyle swim, Jada Scott delivers again, bringing it home in 22.25 seconds to win in 1 minute, 33.30 seconds. That's not just a school record, not just a pool record, it's a new state record, shattering the old 6A standard set in 2009 by two tenths. You know, it doesn't really feel real. I didn't know what the time was before we did it. I'm not even thinking about those goals. Like, we're just gonna get in the pool and see what we can do. And I'm so excited that I know we can finish fast. I know we're gonna do what we can do. We have a whole nother year. 
Very next event, 100-yard backstroke. Johnson, Samantha Robles, and Smithson Valley's Laney Skrobanek in the consolation final. Robles hangs with the pack and finishes her individual racing career with a 12th place finish in 59.01 seconds. Skrobanek took 14th in 59.5. Quick shout out to the officials for doing their job and walking up and down the pool. This was actually the first time in her career that Robles qualified for state in two individual events. It was good. Um, I'm, I'm just happy to be where I'm at and I'm excited to see what UNT takes me to. And I'm excited to see what the other girls who are still going to be at Johnson, what they're going to be able to do. The 100-yard breaststroke was the race of the night. Senior Morgan Bartley was the third seed, and Johnson's Rhea Sahota was the fourth seed, both of them within striking distance of a state title in the evening session. Bartley took it out hard on the first 25. She splits a 29-9 on the first 50, and watch her fend off the rest of the field on the back half. She just touches first in one minute, 4.06 seconds. Look at the smile. She wins the event by six one-hundredths of a second. Sahota was just behind by a couple tenths of a second. She took fourth and Morgan Bartley ends her career on top of the podium. I was trying to go out as fast as I could just so I could get the lead and when I have the lead I feel more comfortable with that last 50. I can feel and I can see them coming up and that feeling you're like oh I just I have to get through these last five meters. Towards the end I just had to go hard and push through. Just, it's so overwhelming and I love seeing everyone up in the stands cheering you on and it's amazing. The Johnson girls have final say in the 400-yard freestyle relay. The team of Moore, Robles, Sahota, and Musselman combined to finish 13th in 3 minutes, 32.32 seconds. The Jags were in the thick of the team race all night long, and they end up taking second overall with 176 points. This is the first time Johnson has ever finished in the top three teams at state. I am so proud of that because um, last year we didn't really make any A finals because the competition was very stiff last year. So this year I was very happy that we made a final, we got second overall. Congratulations to the Jaguars and all of our area swimmers and divers for their performances on Monday night. The girls' state meet concludes tomorrow night at Bill Walker Pool at the Class 5A state championships. And for more swimming highlights, head on over to ksat.com.